Hey, what's up guys? This is Rainbow Cumshot here. I'm just going to give you a quick instructional video on how server security works. Okay, so let's say you start off with a server, and then after you make your server, you want to make a client, okay? So this is sort of just a divider line right here. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so you have your server, and every time that you have a server, you have an admin, okay? And every time that you have a client, you have a user. Okay, so you make a server, and a server allows a client to connect, and a client connects to a server, plus reads, writes data to slash from server. Okay, so now that we understand that, um, a client can pretty much do anything they want to besides execute things on the server. So think of it like this, okay? I'm gonna actually add another divider up top here. Okay, so you have read, write, and execute, okay? Now, if you go to your desktop, you can simply double click on something and it runs. A client can't just magically double click on a server desktop and run something, okay? There needs to be some commands built into the client and the server has to be listening for those commands for something to execute, okay? So um, that's how that works. Now writing, that's something that a client usually can do. Um, they don't have to be able to do it, but uh, for dynamic content, you definitely want the client to be able to write to your server. And um, reading, uh, reading, that's uh, pretty useful because that's how the client actually fetches data from your server. So that's useful. And uh, now that we just sort of went over that, uh, put us back to this little area here. Um, all this together makes a connection. This going to this is a connection and the server communicates back with the client. So the client is, let's say they go to log in. The client starts sending data, uh, they start sending their user and their pass to the server, and then the server is like, is user slash pass correct? Yes, and then it sends yes back to the client and they receive, they get yes, and then it's like, okay, I'm logged in. Fetch information. Request from client for information. Sending it. And then the client is like, got it. And then it displays, uh, let's say, your date you registered. Um, you, you know, that type of stuff. Okay, so that's basically just... Uh, a server and a client communicate just like me and you uh, do. So, I mean, they're not humans or anything. They don't talk with mouths. They communicate with data. But, uh, yeah, so that's how that works. Now, you got to understand, let's say I'm registering an account on my client end, and I built into the client a check, you know? Let's say if some... Sorry about whoops. <laughs> okay, if something is less than six characters in length. A character is that. So it would be less than um, that right there. So it has to be less than six characters. So that means we have to take one off. So five characters is acceptable and anything below that. Now, let's say somehow we end up doing um, all these characters and we change this to 2000 and then we send this over to the server and the server never checks to make sure it's less than 200 two, I mean less than six characters then this is accepted because the server never checked for that you see what I'm do you understand what I'm saying uh, hopefully you do I mean you can't talk back to me it's a YouTube video but I hope you understand it's pretty simple however let's say I go ahead and send this to the server and then the server says if is less than six characters. 
then do something. Well, this is not less than six. This is not less than six characters. <laughs> okay, guys, you know what I'm saying. That's not less than six characters, and so then it's, the server won't do anything with that data. Instead, it might say, error, try again. And then this will be like, you have to type something less than six characters. So, um, pretty much think of it this way, okay? You can always trust yourself, okay? And you should never trust anyone else. Okay, that's, that's my, uh, my favorite saying. I made it up. You can always trust yourself and never trust anyone else. Okay? Don't trust anyone else. Never. Ever. When it comes to security and servers, always trust yourself and nobody else. You don't want the bad guy to come in. Basically, the second that you make something that is required to be checked, the second that you're checking that only on the client side, you are doing it wrong, and that is just like putting the lock on the outside of your door. So someone has the handle to unlock your door from the outside of your house, and you're locking your door from the inside of the house with a key. It's really dumb. So anytime that you're checking data to make sure that it's safe, um, to do any checks, you know, security checks, uh, just any type of checking that goes on needs to be up here in the server. You need to do that yourself. Um, the, user, the user should never be doing that because then that's wrong. The only thing that the user should do is be able to read stuff and write stuff. And that's, that's all that it should be able to do. The server can read, write, and execute, and that's fine. You never want the client to be able to execute something. So I hope that you understand this. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask in the comments.